becoming a content focused company, it's a mindset change. It's really a paradigm shift. Instead of making presentations or instead of making sales decks or instead of making collateral that you share, you create content and you actually create videos and you create slides and images and infographics that you can then share on social channels. So it's a mindset change. You don't end up spending more time. All you do is have the focus of creating content and converting your creation process into a content creation process. So instead of an internal sales deck, you create a video that you can then share with people and that you can mention specific people in the comments. Instead of creating an internal motivational video, you create a video that you can put on LinkedIn or YouTube to motivate your staff and for others to see and kind of learn about you. Instead of creating a white paper that's on a PDF that you email to people, you create a landing page, you create a video, you create an asset that people consume on social channels and on your blog too. Another really good strategy if you're busy is to record things that you can then post on social and then get repurposed into more high value, more produced pieces like blog posts or even edited videos. For example, the video that I'm recording right now, I'm gonna outsource this. This is then gonna get repurposed into blog posts, social posts, short posts, and even a long fully produced video. So from one video asset, you can really mine dozens yeah. of additional content that you can put on social channels. It works pretty well. One of the things that we have here at Dove is a home office in the Philippines. And that's where Ina and Bono actually help us with video editing, writing, content yeah. posting, and even strategy. We've had so much success working with them and we're really grateful for their contribution. Thanks, Ina and Bono. Put the place up. I had a weird daydream yesterday. I dreamt that we got rid of our office and we got a van that was stored in one of these lots and we became a fully virtual company. We're sort of like a floating office and we kind of just go wherever we want. And every day we want to go to a spot where we work, you know, yeah. a coffee shop, it's like a floating office. Hashtag van life. <laughs> van life. <laughs> Whenever you have conference calls using Zoom or Skype or any of the dozens of conference software, just consider recording that call. See if there's something that you can mine from that recording. Because oftentimes the things that we pitch in our conference calls are things that we can share on social. Now keep in mind, you can never post something that you record of someone else unless you have their permission. So make sure that you ask before the call or sometimes even after if you have their permission to share it on social channels. But that said, you can always use the portions where you're talking and actually use those on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and whatever channel you want. Going through the process of creating something, there's a lot of failure, there's a lot of destruction, but through that, you can create content and you can actually share the process with people so that they can get to know you on a human, more personal level. And that actually builds trust and it builds a relationship for people to see your process. And it's also a chance to kind of make fun of yourself as well. Do do re. All right, here we go. Three topics.